Question from Tony Hollis. What is your daily process for monitoring your portfolio? If you have 50 plus positions, how do you go about managing before the market opens or during your busy work or personal life? Um, I guess I do, it's a very systematic approach. So you know, when I when I leave the macro show, I'll open my long short book, go grab uh, another glass of water. I'll open it, everything up so that everything's open for me. I don't put it out there for uh, who knows could be walking by my screens right now. Um, but uh, I open up my screens, I go get a refill on my water, and I go through every single position. I actually do it alphabetically. I like doing it alphabetically because it forces me to not look at the, the things that are up the most on the, on the opener that are down the most, which is the way a lot of people look at their P&L. I try to take everything out of my vision, everything that could, anything that could trigger me. Um, I just want it to be nothingness. So guess what's the first stock right now that I'm going to you know, make a transaction in? It's going to be Apple because it starts with an A and it's alphabetical. What are the ones that I'll touch last? Well, they're the XLE, XLF, XL, you know, anything with an X, because X is the bottom. So again, I'll go through every single position. I'll just tick on it. If it says execute, doot, doot, doot. And that's, I just go through that. It takes me about uh, 20, 20 to 30 minutes on my long short book. Then I'll go to my long only book. That takes me 5 to 10 minutes. Go through every, I just go through every single position, load it into my wrist range. Is there something to do? No. Yes. No. I don't, I don't take a call. Hey, hey, hey. I, nobody's allowed to talk to me for that whole time, including if you could try it here, and it's not going to probably be a good, great experience. But you know, again, I just do that, and then I send Jonesy the Macro Pro for the Macro Pro updates. I send it to the whole team. So then that's the long only. Any changes that I made, like the ones that I just highlighted, you know, those will be in there uh, if I'm adding or subtracting. And um, that's pretty much it. It takes me pretty much, uh, in terms of execution, I'll only spend max two hours in a day on that. And usually it's more like one and a half hours, could be one hour. Because I'll then come in at the close. Uh, depends if it's the close. The close would be, I generally will trade the, trade the close or touch positions incrementally at the close because I'm setting up for tomorrow and trying to capitalize on anything that's you know, going squirrel up or down you know, into the close. And intraday would have to be if we get a moment, especially around the lunchtime lull between you know, 11 o'clock and 1, 1 1.30, where you get like a big gap up or a big gap down. That's where you'll see me hit real-time alerts because I like to be precise in real-time alerts, or at least try to be, because it helps you. So I'm also sending out real-time alerts between. Uh, you'll notice that most of the time I won't send out a real-time alert unless there's something really going on that I want to you know, communicate. Uh, but I'll generally, you probably won't see one of those until at least 10.30. Why? Because I spent an hour going through my whole book, you know, just making sure that I rank order everything. And then in my long short book, what I'm doing, I go through every single ticker of every single idea we have here, and I circle the ones that are near the top end of the range, and then I send those to you if there's something to do. So. Um, and one thing you didn't mention on, I guess, your uh, the McCullough family offices, the question had mentioned pre pre-market, but you're not doing anything pre-market and, and maybe no. not even really thinking too much about the price, no, price I, moves pre-market. I pre -market. think trading futures pre-market is for bozos. Yeah. I mean, um, me being the primary bozo. Like, I everything that I could do, I, I, everything that I think is, doesn't make sense or wouldn't fit the process or isn't good in terms of discipline, I've tried it. Like, I mean, why, do I, why would you do something that generally doesn't work? I mean... Me, the bozo, the former bozo, the person who used to use moving monkeys, his bosses did, I did, trade futures, pre-open, panic, trade post-market moves, I've done all that. I fucked that up more ways than you could possibly imagine. Every single thing that triggers some people, they're like, oh, you're so cocky. Like, no, I actually have the humility to accept my mistakes, my human frailty, my human flaws, and learn from them. I would much prefer to quietly go to my desk for an hour, hit buttons, have no conversations, and get on with the day. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.